other stock music. conference and we're looking forward to a very exciting day. Yeah, the program is very promising um, we are gonna go to a panel discussion, of, uh, it's called Making Scientific Facts Great Again and yeah, let's see what it's gonna be. <laughs> wrong in the way we teach science and the way we educate scientists. And I must say I'm getting really worried when I see people using this thing here and telling me they don't care about physics. <laughs> and that is up to us to communicate and up to you guys to write about. And to you too? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we need a generation which learns to challenge, to question what is wrong. To, in German it's hinterfragen, I think that's challenging. That's what we need. And in addition, we need scientists well trained to bring science over to the citizens in an understandable way. What we learned today is that it can't be taken for granted that citizens understand scientific facts as the ultimate truth, as we may understand it. That we should invite for a dialogue and not just give more facts, 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 because in this, like, let's say, post-truth era, scientific facts are not that, that ultimum that we can rely on. People. Yeah, they get the facts, but they just don't want to believe in them. They are more into emotions. So as a science communicator, we should consider that more in our everyday life. And if there is a sheer challenge. Yeah, the solution should be a dialogue and more investigation, more investigative journalism. Yeah, crossing the gap. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually a conference is a place where we come um, at our very best. You, we pack the best uh, clothes and the best ideas and we share the best successes. But as we do know, you don't always learn from a success. Sometimes and even maybe oftentimes you learn, learn from a mistake. And uh, it's good to fail yourself, but uh, you can also share. And, and we are a learning community of science journalists and communicators. So why not share our mistakes? That would, well, you will f feel better afterwards when you have confessed your so-called sin. <laughs> and then uh, you, you, will have a, you will share a learning opportunity with, with your colleagues, with your peers. And how would you encourage young people to confess their sins? Um, maybe well, uh, I don't know how to um, maybe how to make them confess, but maybe they should be more relaxed about mistakes. I mean, whoever does anything will do mistakes. I'm not against fact checking. I'm not against doing your job properly, but I mean, we should also be generous towards ourselves and understand that okay, we do mistakes as well. And then when you do, then you can analyze it, and maybe it's good to analyze with your colleagues. 